proved that the cube root of 2 plus the square root of 3 is an algebraic number. So an algebraic number is a number that is a solution to a polynomial equation with integer coefficients. So we basically have to show that this number is a solution to such an equation. Proof. To do that, we will give a constructive proof. We'll start by letting x be equal to the number, cube root of 2 plus square root of 3. And now we're going to construct a polynomial equation with integer coefficients just from this. So to do that, we have to get rid of all of these roots. Let's start by trying to get rid of the cube root. So we'll subtract the square root of 3 from both sides, and that will leave us with x minus the square root of 3, and that's equal to the cube root of 2. So now in order to eliminate the cube root, we can cube both sides. So I'll put a 3 here and put a 3 here. And let's apply a formula in order to do this, just to make it a little bit easier. If you have x plus y and it's cubed, this is x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. So eventually you memorize this. Um, I have it memorized just from using it so much. Um, you can get it from the binomial theorem, or you can memorize, you know, Pascal's triangle and try to use that as a memory trick to memorize it. So before we apply this formula, notice the formula has a plus and we have a minus in our problem. So let's go ahead and change what we have. Let's write it as x plus and then minus square root of 3. And this whole thing here is cubed. And then here, when we cube the cube root, we simply get 2. Okay, now let's go ahead and apply this formula. So we'll start by cubing the x. So we get x cubed plus, and then 3x squared, and then times y, but y is negative root 3. So this is parentheses, negative square root of 3, plus 3x, and then we're squaring the y. So when you square that square root, it goes away. So you just get 3 plus then y cubed, so that will be negative root 3 cubed, and that's equal to the number 2. I did that kind of quickly, but again, let's just double check it. So we have x cubed, 3x squared y, so our y is negative root 3, it looks good. Uh, and then we have 3x times y squared. Now y is negative root 3, so when you square it, the square root goes away and you get 3. That's where this came from here and then plus y cubed, which is negative root 3 squared. Okay, all right, let's, let's see what's going on. We got x cubed minus 3 root 3 x squared, and then 3 times 3 is 9, so this is 9x. And then when you cube the square root of 3, you're going to get square root of 3, square root of 3, square root of 3. So two of them are going to give you 3, so we can write it as 3 root 3 and that's equal to the number two. Beautiful stuff. All right, so we're not quite there because we have these square roots. So let's go ahead and try to put everything that has a square root on one side by itself. So x cubed plus 9x. And now we're going to go ahead and subtract this 2. So minus 2. And that's equal to... So I'm going to add this one over, so it'll be 3 root 3, x squared, plus, and then 3 root 3. Really, really nice. All right, before we square both sides, we can probably do something that will help us, because we're trying to get rid of the square root of 3. So let's go ahead and factor that out, because I think it'll make it easier. And while we're at it, we'll factor out the 3 as well. So this is x cubed, plus 9x, minus 2. And that's equal to 3 square root of 3, and then parentheses, x squared, plus 1. Okay, now we're in a better position, you see, because when we square both sides, the square root will go away. We'll be able to square that piece, and we will eliminate it. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's square both sides of this equation. So we have this being squared, and then we have this being squared. 
So this is a trinomial squared, so I am going to just write it down twice and distribute. So this is x cubed minus a plus 9x minus 2. And then write it again, x cubed plus 9x minus 2. And then over here we have the 2 here indicates that we square each piece. So we square the 3, we get 9. We square the square root of 3, we get 3. And then we square x squared plus 1, and we're going to use this formula. a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. I'll just write it down quickly. So we're going to use this to square the x squared plus 1. So a is x squared. So you basically you square the first one, so you get x to the fourth. Multiply the x squared and the 1 and double it, so 2x squared. And square the last one, so 1. That's what the formula up here says, right? You square the first one, uh, multiply these two and double it, and, and then square the last one. So really, really nice. Let's keep going. Let's go ahead and distribute some stuff here. So let's take the x cubed, multiply it by all of these. Take the 9x, multiply it by all of these. Take the negative 2, multiply it by all of these. So let's do it. x cubed times x cubed is going to give us x to the 6. Right? We add exponents x cubed times 9x is plus 9x to the fourth. And then x cubed times negative 2 is negative 2x cubed. So that takes care of the x cubed. Let's just check that. x cubed times x cubed. We add the threes, we get 6. x cubed times 9x, that's 9x to the fourth, right? Because we add the 1 and the 3 to give us 4. And then x cubed times negative 2 is just that. Let's go to the 9x. I'm going to use a different color. So 9x times x cubed is uh, plus 9x to the fourth. 9x times 9x is 81x squared. And then 9x times negative 2 is negative 18x. Then we'll go to the last one, which is the negative 2. I'm going to switch colors again. So negative 2x cubed, uh, negative 18x, really easy to mess up. I'm really trying hard not to mess up. It's a very long problem. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Okay, so everything looks okay. Negative 2x cubed minus 18x plus 4. Let's check the yellow one. Let's see, 9x to the fourth, 81x squared. Yep, everything um, looks, looks okay. This is really 27. So this will be 27x to the fourth. And then plus 27 times 2 is 54, so this is 54x squared plus, and then 27 times 1 is 27. All right, um, what a huge mess. Uh, let's go ahead and just combine like terms first before we start subtracting things. So this is clearly a polynomial, <laughs> so we're just going to show it's equal to 0 and we'll be done. So x to the 6th is here. What about the x to the 4th terms on the left-hand side we have? Uh, this one and this one, that's going to be 18x uh, uh, to the 4th, so plus 18x to the 4th. And then x cubed terms on this side, we have this negative 2x and this negative 2x cubed, so it'll be negative 4x cubed, I believe, negative 4x cubed. And then we have uh, the x squared, it'll just be plus 81 uh, x squared. I think there's no other x squared except this one. Okay, and then add negative 36x because there's two of those. And then plus 4. And let me just pause here for a moment to check. x to the 6th, we took care of that. 9x to the 4th and 9x to the 4th gives us 18x to the 4th. Negative 2x cubed and negative 2x cubed give us negative 4x cubed. Um, 81x squared is 81x squared, and then negative 18x and negative 18x gives us the negative 36x, and we have the 4. And this is equal to all of this stuff over here, 27x to the 4th plus 54x squared plus 27. Really, really nice. Okay, so let's finish this. Let's subtract all of this stuff over to the left. So this is x to the 6th. So we're going to subtract um, the 27x to the 4th. And that's going to leave us with negative 9x to the 4th, right, because we subtract this one. There's no cubic terms we're subtracting, so we still have minus 4x cubed. What about the squareds? We have uh, 81x squared, and we're subtracting 
uh, 54 uh, x squared. So we have 81 minus 54, which uh, should be 27. So this is plus 27 x squared. Right? We're subtracting this one from this one. And then we still have the uh, the 36 uh, the 36 x, uh, which is uh, right here. So this is a minus 36 x. And then 4 minus uh, 27 is going to give us minus 23, and that is equal to 0. So let's do one more quick check. So x to the 6, let me just double check this because we're done now, but let's do a quick check. So we have x cubed times x cubed, that's x to the 6. x cubed times 9x, that's going to be uh, 9x to the 4th. And then x cubed times negative 2 is uh, negative 2x cubed, right? And then we go to the 9x. 9x times this is this piece, 9x times that uh, is uh, that, and then 9x uh, times negative 2 is uh, negative 18x. So everything seems to look okay uh, if you can keep checking. So this is a polynomial equation, it is a polynomial, I hope I didn't multiply wrong, <laughs> it's a polynomial equation with integer coefficients uh, which has our original number which I forgot what it was I don't have this written down so I'm gonna go up here and look um, cube root of 2 plus the square root of 3 so cube root of 2 plus the square root of 3 as a solution so we have a polynomial equation with integer coefficients, and this number is a solution to this equation. Thus, or so, this number is algebraic. Cube root of 2 plus the square root of 3 is algebraic. Yeah, so that should be it. Uh, hopefully uh, this, this helps someone out there. Um, I think the hardest part of this problem um, is just the algebra. It's really easy to mess up. Um, I keep looking at it thinking, did I mess up anywhere? Did I mess up anywhere? But uh, I, I don't think um, I did. Everything looks, everything looks okay. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.